Kelly Peterson with Sussex County Beach Living and today I'm going to talk to you about the 10 best things to do in Milton. I want to feature a coastal town each month this summer and Milton is the most northern part on the Delaware Bay and so we're going to tell you the 10 best things to do in Milton. I'll start with number one, Broad Hill Beach. It's a beautiful small beach. Um, it has the Broad Hill store. So that is number one. When you first enter Broad Hill Beach, you will see the Broad Hill store, which is a great place for food, ice cream. You can even rent bikes there and buy great souvenirs to remember your special vacation there. You can rent a vacation home there for your family and enjoy the beautiful beaches with gentle waves that are great for young children. You can bring your dogs. Um, there is, it's a great place for children and kids and it's known for horseshoe crabs in May and June. You can even go to the outdoor library and exchange books to enjoy reading. Number two is Prime Hook National Wildlife Refuge. This is a great place to enjoy nature. You can see the beautiful marshlands. You can take your kayak or canoe out there and explore the nature. It's um, a great place on the Broad Hill River for boating. You can see nature at its best like osprey, bald eagles, and other animals. Number three is the Milton Theater in downtown Milton. This is a great place for shows, especially outside in the summer. They have stand-up comedians, plays, music concerts, local bands, and so much more. It's a great place for entertainment in this small town. You can get tickets online. Number four is the Milton Historical Society, which is also downtown in the beautiful old church. The Milton Historical Society serves as a museum and shares the shipbuilding history of Milton. They have an art gallery, education and research center, and many walking tours and events throughout the year. Number five is the Dogfish Head Brewery. It is known nationally for their craft beers. You can do guided tours of their brewery, enjoy um, tasting their ales at the end of the tour. Their restaurants are great. They offer live music all year round. It's a great place to visit. Number six, I'm going to feature some of the great restaurants in Milton. I'll start off with Irish Eyes. It is right on the Broad Hill River. It has great indoor and outdoor seating. It offers great American food, Irish food, and seafood. It's a great place to sit outside. Um, there's also the Tequila Reel, which is a great Mexican restaurant. Also has outdoor seating with views of the Wagamon Pond or indoors with a nice Mexican decor. The Backyard Restaurant is also another great choice. It offers farm to table foods. It has a coastal farm feel. They have a great bakery with pastries and desserts. And you can sit outside in the summer in their backyard. It's a great place. There's also some other great places like the Dough Bar, which is also on the Broad Hill River. They offer great pizza and food. Also great restaurants like Oh Boys that offers great Creole and Cajun food. There's the Nook that offers great breakfasts and lunches. And there's some more. Number seven, Milton Memorial Park. The Milton Memorial Park is a great place to take your children and grandchildren. It has an old fashioned train ride for the kids, a great playground, it offers free music concerts in their gazebo in the summer. It has a boat launch on the Broad Hill River, which leads you down to Lewis and beyond. Number eight is the Hudson Fields. This is a great place for the community. It offers music concerts, outdoor shows. It offers the Revelation Beer Garden in the warm weather on weekends. Um, it's even in the winter, you can see the beautiful a winter wonder fest of lights. is the Mercantile in the historic downtown district. This is a great place to find antiques and special finds. There's many vendors there that offer different things, so there's always something new to find. Number 10, Lavender Fields in Milton. 
Lavender Fields is a beautiful place to visit. It has a great gift shop that has all lavender things like soaps, lotions, herbs. If you go in June and July, you will see the lavender blooming all over. They have beautiful wildflower gardens there that you can walk through and around. There's also a tea room where you can have tea and lunch. It's a beautiful place to visit. I hope you enjoy the 10 best things in Milton and I hope you will enjoy taking some of the lavender gifts home with you to remember. I hope you enjoy the top 10 things in Milton. If you liked it, I hope you'll subscribe because I'm going to be featuring a coastal town each month. So the next one I'm going to be doing is the town of Lewis, the top 10 things in Lewis. I will be working down the coast. So you will, I will be featuring the top thing, 10 things to do in each coastal town. Thank you.